Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, June 22nd, 2022. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's go and look at the NASDAQ. And as you can see, we had rallied quite a bit today. We were up uh, more than 1%, actually 2% at one point, and gave them uh, roughly half a percent back at the end of the session, ending up at 11.5k. So we were technically struggling at the top of these candlesticks, also in the very bottom here, as I pointed out in my video yesterday, that this is what barrier that we basically have to break through in order to get towards the 20 simple moving average. So 20 simple moving average is here at the 12k, and it is this barrier here, and the previous highs that we basically have to get through in order to go towards the 20 simple moving average. Um, whether or not we get there, that is, uh, well, time will tell. Uh, technical indicators, we could, if you look at them, we can see the MACD is turning around, it's still negative, but you can basically see that it is rounding off here, and we may see a crossing of the MACD within a day or two if this continues, and that could basically point to uh, momentum. Um, positive momentum and therefore we could basically be heading towards the 20 simple moving average. Stochastic looks more bullish and so is the RSI and there's a lot of room to the upside. We are still in a downtrend but uh, bear market rallies uh, do uh, occur. We had a significant bear market rally here up towards the 200 moving average before breaking down uh, quite significantly. Also another one here up towards the 50 moving average and yet again breaking down. So in between, we will most likely see these minor bear market rallies similar to this one where we went up towards the 20 simple moving average before breaking down. So we could see something similar up towards the 20 simple before continuing to the downside. And in between, we may see these major ones. But breaking above the 20 simple moving average, which is roughly at 12k at this point, which is a very round number as well, that opens the door to the 50 moving average. And that is just above, give or take, the 12.3, 12.4k. After that, we need to take out these highs and thereafter towards the 200 moving average. So there's a lot of barriers in between. And due to the negativity in the market, uh, major rallies will most likely be sold into. So let's look at the, the S&P 500. We can also see that we have rallied here quite significantly. Didn't get as far as the Nasdaq, but also Nasdaq has been selling off quite significantly. And uh, the stocks that really rallied in the Nasdaq today are well, not the quality stocks. It's basically the stocks that you that have uh, rallied significantly in the corona period and uh, and have also fallen roughly 80, 90 percent in the last uh, last year. So it's not until we basically see a significant rallies in uh, the major stocks, Apple, Microsoft, uh, Berkshire Hathaway, and so on. I'll probably see this market really turn around this, but that's probably far off yet as the Federal Reserve has not stopped increasing interest rates and they haven't even started with quantitative easing yet or basically cutting back on quantitative easing, I was supposed to say. But if you look at the S&P 500, it is the barrier here, also the previous highs here that we need to, need to get through. We didn't even get close to that point uh, um, today. Uh, and after that, we have the 20 simple moving average moving in this direction, 50 moving average moving in this direction, and the 200 moving average moving in this direction. So both the 20 simple moving average could offer a, uh, could be a barrier, 50 could be a barrier, and breaking above the 50, we have another massive barrier here, give or take um, 4,100 up towards 2,200 before we can basically get to the 200 moving average. But technical indicators, they are turning around. Uh, RSI is turning around, it's becoming bullish. Stochastic is becoming bullish entering. Uh, and the MACD is also turning around, but it is in negative territory. So we may see the MACD do something similar to this. And that could be an indication that we'll see this market rally to the upside. But the question is whether or not how far we get. 
uh, we also in the S&P 500 saw a major rally here above the 200 moving average breaking down tested the 200 moving average yet again and then broke down so 20 simple 50 and 200 are major barriers to the upside so let's look at Dow Jones we have a minor rally here today in the Dow Jones up roughly 1% gave most of those gains back and also here it is this barrier the previous lows here previous highs here that we need to get through before we go and test the 20 simple moving average 50 is just above and then we have this top here that we need to get past in order to go to the 200 moving average so also here rally up towards roughly 31.5 could get rejected if we cross that then the 50 moving average is roughly here 32.1 and after that, to the highest here of 33.1, give or take. Taking indicators, we can see the MACD RSI is becoming bullish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI MACD is still bearish, but it is turning around and could be an indication that we will have a crossing and pointing to uh, bullish momentum. So, European markets, we can see that the DAX did try to rally and then gave technically all its gains back. So, this barrier here, the, basically the bottom and also these count six, that looks like was where we saw um, sellers come in and basically sell this to the downside. I think that this is probably going to cross this barrier or the resistant area and head towards the 20 simple moving average. That's probably where we'll find this market turn around and head towards the lows here. So I'll probably see uh, a double bottom before um, we have a significant rally to the upside. Um, the 50 moving average and 20 simple moving average are both traveling in the same direction. And were we up to break above with those candlesticks, then we have a double top here that we will most likely get rejected. So this is probably the highs of the market at this point, and these are the very lows, and we are technically just in between. So. Um, this is kind of just wait whether or not we rally if we get rejected here and then it becomes interesting if we break down and basically bounce from this um, area then it also becomes fairly interesting if you look at the MACD it is uh, turning around it's still bearish stochastic is also um, in negative territory but has crossed the second line and RSI is bullish at this point if you look at the VIX it did fall towards the lows here of last week and then bounce. So whether or not we rally to the upside here, uh, then we basically need to take out this top or these tops, I was supposed to say, in order to go higher. If we break below the 50 moving average, then we could go towards the uh, 200 moving average. And this is where we'll probably uh, find major uh, support and rally back to the upside. If we look at the MACD, it is still bullish. Stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. So let's look at the 10 year. So nothing really happened here. Um, we uh, just went back and forward to, to be frank. Um, I do expect this to find support at the 20 simple moving average or the 50 moving average. So we may see, we did see a rally here way outside of the bullish band got significantly overbought and therefore we may see this fall down and then continue to the upside breaking below the 50 well then we'll test this bottom yet again and breaking below that then we could see this market tumble towards the 200 moving average macd is bullish stochastic is flat and the rsi is bullish at this current stage so hope you find this helpful you want to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos good luck thank you very much